Now coaches, this next drill, we're just gonna break down the layup and I'm gonna help them with their footwork and we're gonna try and get high reps up. Now here's what you're gonna join the line. Uh, there's six of you here and three of you there. Mathematics. Perfect. Now here's what you're gonna do. Eyes here. Bianca's gonna go first. After her shot, then Layla. After her shot, then Drew. After Drew's shot, then Jack. And we work around clockwise, all right? We're gonna do layups with no dribbles. So get down in a stance as if you're about to run. You've only got one big step into a layup and shot. So it's a long jump, high jump, shooting high and soft off the backboard. Long jump, high jump, high and soft off the backboard. Get your rebound, join the line to the left. The boys and girls in that line will join this line on the right. Bianca, quick demo. Go Layla. Long jump, high jump, long jump, high jump. Go Jack, go Jack. Good, go Maisie. So now we're just trying to get reps. Now all I told them was that their jumps are long jump, high jumps, and then it's so important when kids do high jumps, they get their trail leg knee all the way up in the sky. Very common, kids doing this. And it looks like they're in Swan Lake or something. So we're not practicing being in Swan Lake, we're practicing to play for the Lakers. All the sparks. And freeze, freeze. Now I can get picky about sides. If you're on the right hand side, right hand layup. If you're on the left hand side, has to be left hand layup, okay? So for left hand layups, put your shooting leg down first, long jump, high jump off the right leg, okay? Ready? Right foot on the block. Red line jack. Grace is first, uh, your other right leg. Get set, go Grace. Good, good. Left hand Maisie, uh-oh. No dribbles. Good, bad luck Katana. Good girl, well done Amber, nice lefty. Ha oh, well done. Now next time, switch your legs over for the right hand layup. Nice Bianca. Oh, bad luck, Maisie. As you do your layup, hold it with two hands. All right, so that way the ball will stay balanced on your hand. Now, Olivia, stand in that corner, please. Bianca on the wing, Layla at the top, Jack on the wing, Drew in the corner. Uh, on the court, Livy. Now, exact same order. Exact same order, outside the three. Good girl. Now, Livy in the corner, you're gonna go first. You're just gonna take two dribbles for a layup. After your shot, get your ball, go back to your spot, then Bianca. Shot, then Layla. Shot, then Jack. Shot, then Drew. On Drew's shot, exact same as yours. Now here's the catch. Every person, Drew, every person is doing a right hand layup. Every person. Ready, Livy, when you're ready. Action. Two dribbles, layup. Join the line. Good, go Bianca. Go back to your spot, Livy. Uh, Charlotte and uh, um, Stacy, come over here. Daisy. Daisy. Now, uh, what we're doing, we're doing like a merry-go-round layup drill. So as soon as the person on your right does a layup, then you, uh, then you go, okay? So you join this line, you join behind Layla. Good, keep going. Boys, close the door. And freeze. Now, everyone has to do a left hand layup. So even if you're on that side, Livy, left hand layup. Ready, set, go. 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 
So now we're just mixing up hands, all right? So everyone went right-handed first, now everyone's got to go left-handed now. And then after everyone gets good reps, we're going to rotate spots. Now I know it's very unorthodox to be doing left hand layups on the right hand side. But what we're trying to do is just get them to do something that's outside the box that they're completely uncomfortable with. Good, good. Nice Charlotte. Last one, Drew. And freeze, rotate a spot clockwise, go. Now, next one, you're gonna do a layup from that side with that hand. If you're on this side, right hand. Down the middle, favorite hand. On this side, left hand. If you're dribbling from the corner, hold the ball. If you're dribbling from the corner, have to find the backboard. Hind soft off the backboard. Left hand, Chuck, and then right hand, Drew. All right, Drew, you're first. Now this time we're going to do two foot finishes, all right? So Drew's going first, two dribbles, come to a jump stop and freeze. When you come to your jump stop, toes face the baseline. That's right. So you've got to try and jump stop like that, then shoot with your outside hand. The players on this side and coaches have to try and shoot with their left hand. Drew, you're first. Go. Whoa, stop, go back. Did you see where you landed? Got to try and land inside the charge circle. Ready? Go. That's a boy. And uh, what was your name again? When the shot happens, go Liam. One, two, good, good. And go coach, get warmed up. No. Right hand on the right hand side, then once you rotate spots, then you can use your uh, left hand. Jack, try and use the left hand on the left hand side. Good. Keep going, keep going. Bad luck, coach. Good. And last one. And freeze, freeze. Now we can increase the uh, challenge to this drill and we could put a defender and create some contact. All right, uh, Talon, can you be, what's your name again? Liam. Liam, sorry Liam. Talon, be Liam's partner. Jack, go be Drew's partner. And then coaches, can you partner up please? Coaches, just pretend there's another four on the other side. All right, and here's what's gonna happen. Drew, you're gonna go first. Uh, Jack, you're gonna stand next to him. Grab your ball, put your ball on his hip. Drew, you're gonna try and finish off one foot while Jack is pushing you the whole way. So you gotta try and figure out how you're gonna counterweight this particular finish. Ready, set, go. Push, push, push. Good, then you switch jobs, all right? Then Talon, you're gonna do the same for Liam. Then coach on coach. Liam, try and do a one foot layup. Good, then you switch jobs. Try and find the backboard, Jack. Good, Talon. So now we're just trying to make it game-like. Now, the reason we put plays in the corners is one of the biggest issues we always have with teaching kids layups is teaching them how to do layups coming from the corner and down the middle of the court. So we tell them, try and find the backboard. Do whatever you can to find the backboard. So we're just trying to build habits. And as you can see, Jack and Drew here, they're trying their hardest to try and make their palm parallel to the backboard. One of the keys to try and finishing uh, down the what, How many feet we're trying to finish off? One. Now this time, try and finish off two feet. Ready, Jack and Drew, when you're ready. 
Roll, roll, roll. Drew, go back. Got to make it game like, mate. So instead of three dribbles to get inside the key, two dribbles or less. Ready, go. Yeah, that's better. Well done, Jack. Oh, Drew. Nice Talon. Good boy. Nice coach. Let's go, Drew. Wakey, wakey. Good. Now, if I had 10 kids on a half court, this is exactly how I'd do my layup drill. Instead of just layup lines and then two people going at the same time, it's just we're shrinking the distance, more realistic and game-like, and we're increasing the reps. So as soon as a shot goes up, next person goes. Good. Five, four, three, two, and freeze. Freeze. All right. Uh, back to your spots. Now another combination you could use. Defense stand in front. Basketball to the side. Turn around. All the way. Heels on the three point line. Ball on his back. You could start like this and go one on one from this spot here. So you could take the ball off and then play one on one. Just another way to create a slight advantage for the offense, but now the defense is playing for real. Jack, no foul. Just this demo, you guys don't go. When you're ready, Liam in front of me. So as soon as I take it off his back, I'm going. Yeah, no wasting time. Talent, demo. Good, good. Then it's straight into 1v1. And then that's the challenge and the contest I'm trying to create. Okay. Uh, another one I could do. Jack, you're here. Turn around. Ball with him. You could pop it out, close out, and play one-on-one -on -one from there. Close him out. Then play one-on-one -on -one with the catch. But freeze, Jack. Jack's challenge to try and avoid the, the, uh, the problem of over dribbling, a three dribble limit. And then we could keep going from there. All right, 